What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's episode where we're going to talk about the Winkler R&D Tomahawk. So this was a collaborative effort between Master Bladesmith Daniel Winkler and a skilled Sayoc Cali martial arts trainer by the name of Raphael. Now if you don't know what Sayoc Cali is, it is essentially a different type of martial arts. Martial arts that focuses more on fighting with edged weapons, sticks, and so on. This is the shorter version. It's just over 10 inches long. And in its larger full size or full length version, the grip has essentially three parts. For this one, the middle portion was taken out. So it still provides the standard grip as well as a secondary close quarter combat type of grip. And it was also made to emulate or to feel as a handgun grip, which is very, very comfortable. Um, so regardless of whether I'm holding onto it from the very bottom in order to take a full power swing, or if I kind of choke up on it a little bit in order to do a little bit more detailed type of work, it is extremely comfortable. I was kind of worried about the edge and whether it came to a very fine point and if it would be and if because of that, it would be easy to break. I had never seen actual pictures of the tip or close up, so I hope that I can provide those so that you guys can see, because that was a concern of mine. But now that I have it and that I've seen it in person, that is not an issue. That is not a concern of mine whatsoever. This is pretty thick. It does come to a point, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be easy to break whatsoever. And if for whatever reason it does break, I'm confident that I can send it back to Winkler Blades and they'll either fix it or replace it at potentially a cost, but definitely not at the cost of $1,000, which is what this costs. Originally, I was looking for one that didn't have the tribal markings on it, but I did pick this up off of Arizona Customs after looking for one to be in stock for about six months. I couldn't find one, so finally when it did come in, I knew that I wanted the maple grip here, but I didn't know that I was gonna like the tribal markings, and now that I have it, because that's the only one that came up on Arizona Customs, now that I have it and that I see it, I actually really, really dig it. I love this thing. The attention to detail is very nice, except for one part. Uh, but the grip, nice and smooth, the tribal markings on both sides line up perfectly. They're not off by any obvious means. There's no hot edges, if you will. There's no rough edges on this. I'm not worried that I'm gonna get a splinter off of this at any point in time. The bottom right here, it is nice and rounded, so it, it doesn't hurt like on the tour. Blades review that I did. She is a little heavier than the Warbird from Half Ace Blades. By maybe, I wanna say about half a pound. I remember weighing them the other day. I can't honestly remember what it was. I just do remember that this one is heavier. She is 3 8 inches thick. It is a, a skeletonized full tapered tang, so it goes all throughout. Uh, it does come with a Kydex sheath that has suede lining on it so that it protects the finish. It also doesn't make a noise when you're deploying it and it's just a nice feature. Overall, something that I have seen also on a lot of half face blades. And if I didn't already say it, the steel is 80 CRV2 steel, just like a lot of the things that Daniel Winkler does. Uh, the finish is a black oxidized no glare finish, which Kind of comes out to look more like a matted black type of car. The only thing that I will say that I was a little disappointed on is where at, at the edge here, right in the middle where it kind of comes where it meets. It's not perfectly symmetrical. It's not blended in. You can see that it does come to a very uh, almost rough finish. Also, if I look dead on onto the edge, you can also tell that the edge is kind of like this, right? It's not perfect, it's kind of like that. And it goes more one way than it does the other, especially when you look at the bottom piece here. 
Also, like Daniel Winkler is known for, a lot of his blades are not very sharp. I didn't expect this to be very sharp because it is an axe, but if we look at another one that I have, which this is the Zev Winkler collaboration, they only did I think about a hundred of these, um, it's also not very sharp at all, you know. I mean, what I'm doing right here, I honestly wouldn't do with this Benchmade that I found in the Narrows. I don't know how long it was there, but this is, uh, let's see, S30V Steel. It was in that river for what looked like quite a long time, and this thing is still pretty sharp, and I found this probably seven years ago, and it's still pretty darn sharp. I wouldn't do what I just did with that, and I definitely wouldn't do it with this Microtech Stitch. I am scared to do it. I don't wanna cut myself. So yeah, if you guys know about Daniel Winkler, a lot of his blades are not very sharp at all, and I haven't used this for anything. Um, it's just kind of been in my safe. But, um, yeah, I didn't expect it to be sharp at all, but I did expect it to be symmetrical, and that's the one part that isn't. And for $1,000, I would have hoped that it is. If you guys came to this video, if you researched Winkler Sayok, Tomahawk or the Winkler R&D Axe because of Jack Carr's Amazon show, The Terminal List, where I believe it's uh, Chris Pratt playing James Reese uses this to hopefully uh, do what he does in the original book, The Terminal List, to a terrorist. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you've read any of his other books, uh, True Believer, In the Blood, um, let's see, Savage Sun, Devil's Hand. If you've read any of those books and you decided to Google this and that's how you came to this video, let me know in the comments. Put JC or Jack Carr in there. I'm just kind of curious to see how many people that actually watched this watched it because of any one of those things. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for this. It was just kind of uh, hopefully short and sweet. I hope you guys liked that video. Let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like, and hopefully you guys can take the time to subscribe. It helps out the channel more than you know. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for potentially further review of this. Take care, guys.